Subscribe to our channel to get daily F1 news. Sainz made his official Formula 1 debut with the Toro Rosso team in 2015 as a teammate of the also debuting Verstappen. The Dutchman was designated as the replacement for Daniil Kvyat at Red Bull in 2016, leaving no room for Sainz to be promoted. With four races to go, Sainz exchanged the Toro Rosso team for Renault, where he would eventually remain until the end of 2018. He then joined McLaren for two seasons, before moving to Ferrari in 2021. Marco had taken a big gamble, putting two rookies in one team. Especially because both gentlemen had something to prove, because their fathers were also racing drivers. He was just unlucky to get Max as a teammate, Marco recalls in Red Bulletin. The atmosphere between the two at Toro Rosso was quite toxic, reveals the Red Bull advisor. With the lineup we had at the time, I saw no way to keep him with us. So he moved to Renault, McLaren and then Ferrari. According to Marco, Sainz had a hard time at Toro Rosso not only because of his teammate, but also partly because of his father. Carlos Sainz Sr. is seen as a great legend in motorsport. He has long been in the shadow of his father, the two-time rally champion. He was unfairly saddled with the image of the spoiled son of a driver, while Carlos has always had to fight very hard to get ahead.